guys. Um, so we're going to do some acrylic pours on tiles. These are a couple that I did last night. I really like them. Um, I am going to put, I haven't decided yet, felt or something along the bottom here. But as you can see, these go pretty nicely together as a set. And this is just um, acrylic paint. So I'm going to show you how I did that. And then not in this video, but in a future video, we'll do um, some of these. These are the alcohol inks on tiles. They're pretty cool. I'm still experimenting with these, but we'll do those in a later video. All right, here we go. So I do want to do these as like a set. So I'm going to put them right next to each other. And, um, first of all, I'm sure other people I know have used silicone in theirs. I will not be doing that. Um, and I am going for kind of like an oceany kind of scene. So, let's put a little bit more blue in here. So, yeah, I didn't put any silicone in here. So, I've got some blues and whites and whatnot. And I'm going to go ahead and start, I'm going to do these like diagonal, I think. I think I'm going to leave that as that for now. I am going to put a little bit of weight here. Good. And then I'm going to go ahead and go in with my kind of sandy kind of color. Which this is just various browns, a little bit of yellow, a little bit of white. Um, and some gold. Okay. There we go. Now, I don't necessarily need these to perfectly match up. It's okay if they don't. I just wanted them to be kind of obviously a set. Um, we're going to go ahead and do our normal tilting. But... A lot more carefully, probably, because I do want to maintain. See, I lost my diagonal line here. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. That's pretty cool. Now, last night was the first time that I did these, the pours on the tiles, so I am definitely still experimenting myself. So I kind of like that. I accidentally kind of made a cove over here. Cool. These definitely still totally match up. So I'm going to bring this one down just a little bit more over here. There we go. I really like that. Really, really, really like that. Awesome. So we'll let these sit here for a bit as usual. Um, like I said, no silicone just because I feel like that's going to definitely mess up the integrity of it sticking to the tiles um, and I will be varnishing the heck out of these after they're fully fully dry and making them into coasters and these are going to be some Christmas gifts I can't say who in case those people watch my videos so we'll be right back we'll let it sit here see if it uh, changes or not and then we'll go in for the close-up all right so they didn't change all that much few little cells kind of popping up 
we're going to go ahead and go in for the close-up. So here's like my sandy part. And we've got my ocean. And I like how this uh, like swirls together here. <laughs> yeah. I definitely think I needed that white in the middle. Although, if you want to get real creative, you could probably take... Um, yeah, take like a straw or stick or something and blend it more into the water or the sand one or the other. So it's a little bit more like waves and not a white line. But I am really happy with this and I'm not going to mess with it. So I really hope you enjoyed this. Definitely give it a shot. People often say canvases are expensive or whatnot. These tiles are like 15 cents at Home Depot or Lowe's. I got literally 30 of them for less than three dollars no that's not right <laughs> that math doesn't make sense i got like 16 of them for less than three dollars so definitely very cheap go ahead and get yourself some use them to play around and like i said we'll do one with alcohol inks in an upcoming video for now have a fantastic uh, night or day depending on wherever you are don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time